Happy Wednesday, NCTA. I'm Lynette Brower, and I'm just here to introduce myself and put a face and a name together. I'm the director here. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to NCTA. I know it's not the first day of school, but we wanted to take just a little bit of time and talk directly to students in the best way we possibly could across four campuses and just share some thoughts. We're so glad that you're part of the school and that you're here. I'm Peter Donaldson, the assistant director at NCTA. Mr. Donaldson, what is uh, your favorite part about being here at NCTA? Well, it goes without saying that my favorite part about being here at NCTA is the students. I really enjoy working with students and directly supporting them in their success and opportunities to be in programs. And I'm incredibly happy that we're back in person because that's made my job and the start of this year so much more exciting. So that would be it for, for me. Uh, Lynette, what makes NCTA class diff so different from maybe a student's other high school class or program? Well, that's a great question. I think people don't always understand what makes NCTA different, but it, there's a couple parts to it. One is that we're really talking about being trained by experts in their field. Um, so they're with people who know exactly why they're learning the material that they're learning. I think the other part of it also is that very embedded academics. So when we're talking about a math problem in our video game or our, a culinary arts class or a drone class, or that's really connected to the learning that's there. In that two and a half hour chunk of time, which is three class periods, I think there's a, a really tight community that's formed. And I think that that's a great place um, for us to, to, sorry, I've got little alarms going off. Um, a, a great reason why students are successful here. But um, one, of the, one of the questions I always get, so I'm wondering if you've heard any, are there any questions about parking? Come to find out, I have received a lot of questions from students about parking and how to get to campus and what's the best way. Uh, right now, I know a lot of students are driving and they're using the parking lot straight out in front of the Mount Vernon campus. You might also be driving to the Meridian campus or the Anacortes campus or the Cedar Woolley campus. What you need to pay attention to is that each of those campus locations has a different parking uh, path or parking ex expectation for you if you're a student. Uh, in, in Anacortes, there's really not an issue to get because there's plenty of parking. In Meridian, there's a designated parking area that's to the east of the campus location for NCTA students. So you'll need to do that instead of parking where some of the Meridian High School students park. And then there is some on-street parking in Cedra Woolley for the CTE programs that are in that CTE wing that's out there. But I would say, without question, especially at the Mount Vernon campus, the most important thing you could do is take the bus if a bus is provided. Uh, it saves gas, it's good for the planet, it will get you here on time, uh, and then you will not have to deal with uh, parking restrictions or parking limits as we're going to have at the Mount Vernon campus shortly. If you are, if the only way for you to get to school is through your own personal vehicle and you're coming to the Mount Vernon campus, you will need to come to the office on September 13th to ask about getting an application for a limited parking pass. We will not be able to give everyone a parking pass, so you will need to have a really good reason uh, for why you should get one, because some students are not going to get one, so we'll need to help you navigate that system. Um, what should students do if they don't feel well, which happened today uh, with a couple students, or they need to be excused for a day, which also happens? Sure, a couple things. One, if you're already on campus and you're not feeling very well, um, if you're in Mount Vernon, you just come down to the office and we'll try and help connect you to make sure that we have um, permission to uh, let you leave or we can have someone come pick you up. And that's the same thing that goes for our other external campuses as well. Once you're in our care, you're in our care for the duration of the period. So even if you're in the Marine Services Program in Anacortes and you just, I just don't feel so good, I need to go home. We have to make contact with a parent or guardian before you can be released. But let's say you wake up and gosh, I'm not feeling so great today. My allergies are really bothering me. You need to call your home high school uh, and say, I'm not gonna be there today. Have your parent excuse that. And also call here, just our number, uh, office number, uh, call and leave a message for Ms. Cruz and it will get your absence excused. And that's an important thing to remember that if you tell your home high school, they may not tell us. And if you tell us, we are not likely to tell your home high school. So you'll need to report to both schools if you're going to be missing a day for whatever reason. So just keep that in mind. How many, how many days can a student miss, do you think? Well, we are realistic here at NCTA. And so sort of a professional expectation for students. And if you are working in a, some sort of career or 
other type of job would be that you could miss up to five days for some sort of reason related to not being able to make it to school. But beyond that, uh, it's important for you to be here every single day. Learning is essential. And uh, one of the things that happens for an NCTA student, if you miss a day, it's really like missing three days because you're, it's a two and a half hour class. So you're missing a ton of work when you're out for just a, you know several days at a time. So you try and keep that. In. And, and um, obviously if you don't feel well or you have an important reason for not being able to make it to school, that those things are important, but try to get here every day. Uh, you know, students have been asking me uh, a couple times, how do I find my grades or how do I know how well I'm doing at NCTA in my classes? How would students do that, Ms. Garland? Well, first is we have a, our own Skyward through the Mount Vernon School District. So if you happen to be a Mount Vernon High School, Aspire Academy uh, student, you uh, or Skagit Academy, you have an account. You can see both your coursework at your home high school as well as here. But for everybody else, we have a Skyward account set up for you. We've asked our teachers to update their grade books. We'd love to see weekly, but at least every other week. So students and families can log in to check. Your teacher can help provide you that login information as well as here in the front office. Um, what is, um, how would somebody switch their schedule if they needed to switch their schedule? That comes up this time of year. Well, if you do need to switch your schedule, and there are several reasons why you might need to do that. Maybe the program you just started isn't quite the program you thought it was. Uh, maybe there's a change at your home high school and you need to move from one session like in the morning to the afternoon session to accommodate something. Uh, that might be another reason or, or there could be even a, you know, some other reason for why you just need to make a change in your schedule. We will do everything we can in the office uh, with our office staff to help make that happen for you if, that's, if it's an important reason. But one of the things we would need to do is to co communicate with your high school counselor, whoever your guidance counselor is, and kind of make sure that a change in your schedule won't be too disruptive back at your home high school. Um, but you, the first place to come would be to talk to us. We'll probably ask you or help set up a meeting so we can talk to your counselor and make sure that that's going to work. And then uh, just to let you know that it's not always as easy as just making a switch because some of our program sessions are currently full. And so you might be in a session that's open and available that you wanna to move to the afternoon or you wanna to move to the morning and the morning session is, is closed. And if it is, we'll let you know. Um, but the most important thing is we want you in the right session and the right program for your high school experience. And if it's not, uh, we'll work to help support, support you if we need to make a change, that's a promise. Um, where can I find the NCTA calendar? So I know when to go to school. I'm at Cedar Woolley High School, but you guys are in Mount Vernon or you, I'm in Anacortes and you guys are on my classes in Cedar Woolley. What am I supposed to do? Great question. Uh, right there on our website, uh, there's a 2021-22 uh, student calendar that has all four campus locations uh, listed on it. You can see the start dates, uh, just to get you excited already. You have a sleep-in day of October 13th is a, a non-student contact day as our first one of the year. But we generally follow the uh, our resident host high school or district, uh, Mount Vernon, for start and stop days, uh, as well as like for holidays. It's right there on our website. Um, Mr. Donaldson, if I need some help with uh, something in particular with our, a particular program I'm in, who, who should I go to? That's a fantastic question too. And that's definitely gonna to happen to lots of students. You're gonna have something come up and you'll, you'll need to ask a question or you'll need some help to figure something out. Uh, the first person you should really talk to is your instructor. Uh, our staff here is fantastic. They work tirelessly to reach out to students and to be there in, either through email uh, or maybe a remind app, you can communicate through that or talk to them in person, uh, ask your question and see if they can help. And if they're unable to help, They'll direct you down to the office where Ms. Brower or myself or maybe Ms. Dana or Ms. Cruz can then help you with a question. Uh, and a lot of times when students have questions, even if we're able to answer them uh, at NCTA, we'll also send you or send an email to your counselor and let your high school counselor know just that you've had a question, here's what's going on. We wanted to let them know just as a sort of for your information thing. So start with your teacher and then come to us. And if, you, if it's necessary, make sure to include your high school counselor in that conversation as well. Um, well, what about classes being closed? Uh, I know you said something about that earlier, Mr. Donaldson. Uh, is there still some programs that are open for enrollment? I have a friend who has been telling me he thinks he wants to join and I've been talking about NCTA to him. What should I do? 
Oh, excellent question. So we are um, an open enrollment school, just like a regular high school is, really through the month of September. So there's a lot of shifting that happens in the first few weeks here at NCTA with students having to get that history class or a, a PE class and they have to switch their schedules around here. So students are welcome to join us at any time. And that goes for our students who've been here on the first day, really helping students feel welcomed as they're coming in the, the next couple of weeks. So I would start by getting our uh, an application filled out and working with that counselor and we are just getting them still a couple more came in today five came in this uh this afternoon so we're trying to get those students placed in those classes but i would definitely encourage uh, your friends or somebody who you think would really benefit from a program here to to sign up now um here's one that is becoming a more frequent question there's a lot of guidance that has changed in the last few months um is there any update on the rules around masking well there are some updates around the rules on masking and i think for the most part uh, our ncta students have done a fantastic job following those guidelines and just to let you know those are the guidelines that our district is following as well as recommendations from county health in the state and from the federal level but we uh, are requiring masks in all of our schools inside the building so if you're in the building and you're coming in the building you need to have a mask it can be a cloth mask it can also be uh, one of the medical blue masks that are, you've probably seen a lot of what it can't be is a bandana or a gaiter or a doubled up gaiter those are just not permitted right now under the current guidelines so we'd ask you to wear a mask we have masks at the front door if you forget so you can walk up the stairs and say i forgot my mask Grab one as you're going into class and or into the building and take it with you um, and, and go to class. If those guidelines change over the course of the next few weeks, we'll update our policy and, and let all of you know that the guidelines have changed. I do know that some schools do uh, have allowed gators in the past, and there may still be some things like that. But at this point, if you're at NCTA, you need to be wearing a mask. Some of our programs head outside on a, almost a daily basis for some physical activity as part of the program. When students are outside and you're spaced apart, you do not have to wear a mask, but the teachers can communicate that with you when the time uh, is appropriate. So just keep that in mind. And we certainly appreciate everyone doing their best to keep themselves and each other safe uh, just as part of those considerations. So thank you. Um, Another one that's come up is that uh, students and families in a welcoming email received a copy of the workplace expectations rubric and I really wasn't sure what that was about. Uh, maybe you could set, tell me a little bit more about what that means because I'm not sure what a rubric is and uh, how is that being used at NCTA? Great question. This has been a, a tool that's been used here for the last several years and developed with our industry partners as well as our staff. You'll actually see it behind you, Mr. Donaldson, on your, your wall there. Um, and we're actually in the process of tweaking it um, and re reworking some of that language. But what this does is it really does set the stage for how we work with our students and what we expect out of our students. And um, we are a workplace training uh, facility and we do have really powerful connections to our industry partners. So we have the different attributes uh, like a, a reliability, integrity, professionalism, and then descriptors underneath that. So those are the, the ways that we expect to work together as a learning community, both as an administration, with our teaching staff, with our front office staff, with uh, our custodial staff, with our students. And those, um, those attributes are how we, we work together. But you'll be seeing an updated copy. Our staff has been working on that uh, with some of our professional learning time together to kind of uh, update it for the 21-22 school year. I've also seen, I don't, uh, on the bottom there, it says learn, do, lead. What's that about? Well, learn, do, lead is sort of the motto at NCTA. And uh, we like to think, uh, and the teachers work incredibly hard to help their programs develop those qualities in students. The idea that you are, you are learning about something, maybe it's a skill, maybe it's an idea, and you might be using a textbook or conversation or maybe part of a lecture or a guest speaker or maybe some activity outside, but you're learning to do something. Um, and then once you learn it, you're able to do it and demonstrate it on your own, maybe with a group, maybe by yourself. And then finally, as you become even more accomplished between those two things, learning and doing, you're able to take another step above and beyond that. And that's to lead. And that's 
that leadership counts in terms of yourself, sort of leading your own way towards whatever future lies beyond high school. And, and it also extends into your relationships and roles with students in your classmates in, in the classroom. How are you leading them by your, by your example and by the, the things that you model? So keeping that idea in mind, if you put all those things in a circle, learn, do, and lead, and there's an intersection of those things where they all come together, that's the perfect sort of experience here at NCTA. And we, we hope that all of you uh, get that experience and our teachers are working hard to develop that for you. Uh, the last question we kind of had for our students that has also come up is uh, how can students get involved in a leadership role at NCTA? Because it's so much different than my other high school, um, but I'd love to know more about that. Oh, great question. Well, we're going to be here probably in the beginning part of October. We'd like to get um, kind of a leadership team from our cross-section of all of our classes together. And you were asked that in our applications. If you'd be interested in doing that, we'll circle back to you. You can also email us. Uh, you'll, if you go back to that welcome letter, you'll see actually a link that says um, get involved in how to do that. So you'll be getting more information. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are um, creating a school that is right for the students who walk in the door. So we'll need to have your input on making that school um, be a great fit for you. So uh, more to come and you'll see some emails through school, um, the Skyward Messenger coming your way as well. So um, who should they go to if they have a, a, a question we didn't answer, Mr. Donaldson? Um, which question? Who, oh, that's right. Who I know. That? Who should, we did answer that. Who should they go to? Yeah, I, we're available. Yes, anytime. Anytime. I've told students uh, that if you walk in the office and the door is open and I'm in my office, you can interrupt me. Uh, and I'm happy to help answer a question. Um, kind of take an email if you want to, but, uh, and I'm gonna make an every effort at least at the Mount Vernon campus to be outside welcoming students coming in and saying goodbye when you leave. And if there's something on your mind you wanna share and just catch my ear for a second, please do that. Uh, I know that Ms. Brower and I are also gonna really prioritize getting out to the other campuses, Anacortes, Cedar Woolley and Meridian uh, with as much consistency as we possibly can, because uh, even though those campuses are farther away from Mount Vernon, the students there and the programs there are just as important as all the others. So we'll be there um, more often than we certainly have been in the past. So that's something important for us. In fact, I think we're going to go to Cedar Woolley tomorrow because it's the first day. Yeah. yeah. It'll be great. It'll be good to see everybody. Uh, the best compliment I heard was I was talking to a student who is brand new today and I was saying, oh, this teacher is really is so nice and cares so much about um, her students. And she said to me, everybody here is so nice. They really care about students. And I thought, oh, that is, that's the testament of uh, what we love about our jobs is the students that are here and the adults that we get to work with. So we wish you all a great year and uh, we are here to help in any way we can. Thank you everybody and teachers, thanks for the time sharing the video, we appreciate it. All right.